Why am I in so much pain? Why does it feel like my inside are bruised? Why does it hurt to have sex? I have been dealing with it for so long. I feel I'm missing out on life because I'm always in pain and no one understands. I wish people could see that I'm not faking. Am I ever going to feel normal? My daughter never seemed worried about my pain even though I told him it affected my life almost every day. It took me two years and three daughters to get diagnosed for my endometriosis and I have experienced the same symptoms since I was 12 years old. I wonder if I have endometriosis. Endometriosis affects as many as 11% of reproductive age women in US. Take back control of your life. Talk to your daughter today. Preparation for ovulation. The lining of the uterus or endometrium thickens. If fertilization does not occur, the uterus sheds its lining through the vagina. This is known as menstruation. In endometriosis, the endometrium grows outside of the uterus. One cause of this growth may be retrograde menstruation. During retrograde menstruation, menstrual fluid flows backward into the fallopian tube instead of leaving the body through the vagina because the fallopian tubes are open-ended. Through backflow can feed into the pelvic cavity. Backflow of menstrual fluid may promote the transfer of clump in the menstrual cells to other tissues in the pelvis, or menstrual fluid in the pelvis cavity could transform part of the tissue into endometrial cells. In either process, clumps of endometrium may start to grow on the tissues, lining or pelvic cavity, as well as on your fallopian tube ovaries and large intestine. This growth continues to act as it normally would during a menstrual cycle. It thickens, breaks down and bleeds each month. Because there's no way for the blood from the displaced tissue to exceed your body, it becomes trapped. Trapped blood may lead to cysts, scar tissue and addition. Abnormal tissue that binds to get together scarring for endometriosis can block your fallopian tube. Block tube may keep sperm cells from reaching and fertilizing the egg, causing fertility problem. The menstrual fluid could alter some type of cells in the pelvic cavity to change the structure or clump of endometrial tissue contained in the menstrual fluid could stick to tissues it lands on and starts to grow. In either case, teams may be affected in causing endometriosis. You know, killer cramps are not normal. There are symptoms of endometriosis, a disease that affects 1 in 10 women in the US, typically starting around puberty. Endometriosis occurs when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus is found in places it does not belong. Endometriosis can cause a range of symptoms, including killer cramp, chronic bevel pain, vomiting, painful sex, and even infertility. Doctors often mistake endometriosis for other diseases such as IBS, appendicitis, or ovarian cysts because the symptoms can be similar. In the US, it takes an average 10 years for patients to be properly diagnosed, allowing the disease to be progressed. Endometriosis is one of the top three causes of female infertility and costs society over $100 billion annually in medical bill and lost productivity. Your period should never get in the way of normal life. If it is, it's time to seek help. If you think you have endometriosis, contact a gynecologist right away. The earlier it's diagnosed, the, the better. Are you one of the 110 women endometriosis? Do not suffer in silence. Treatment option for endometriosis is symptomatic treatment, medical treatment, surgical treatment, surgical and medical treatment combined, ovarian stimulation for the assisted reproductive technology, endometriosis treatment, release symptom, remove or destroy endometrial implant, maintain or restore normal anatomy, maintain or improve fertility, avoid or delay recurrence of disease. Diet for endometriosis First, eat more vegetable
second, introduce more omega-3 fatty acid to your diet. Third, eat more flat seed. Fourth, reduce your chemical intake by limiting your intake of animal fat. Five, take magnesium supplement. Six, increase your vitamin E intake. Seven, experiment with an herb called golden seal. Eat more vitamin C rich foods. Nine, boost your calcium intake. I got the maybe it's in your mind, <laughs> maybe you need to go have a chit chat with a the therapist. <laughs> You're in some of the most horrendous pain you've ever experienced and you're being told it's really not that bad. You're just overreacting and it might be in your head. I saw 13 doctors, seven doctors. And it wasn't just in my head. We know our bodies. We know our symptoms. We know when something's different. Um, we know when something's wrong. You have to be your own advocate. You have to do your research. I know that you can feel hopeless when you go to the doctor and you don't get an answer. Keep going to the doctor. And ask a question. Be persistent. Be extremely detailed about what happens to you. Eventually, someone's going to listen. When I saw the other doctor, um, she was amazing. I felt like she believed everything that I said. It's embarrassing to tell people what happens to you, but if you do not open your mouth, nothing will change, nothing. You know your body better than anybody else in this world, and you need to trust that. Endometriosis affects millions of women throughout the world. It demands professional attention, especially when fertility is impaired or pain affects lifestyle. Endometriosis may be a lifelong problem because pain of endometriosis may recur after therapy. This condition has the potential to describe quality of life and cause significant emotional distress. Women age duration of infertility, pelvic pain, and stage of endometriosis are taken into account when formulating an infertility treatment plan. Choosing and qualified specialist one who is familiar with the latest development in management of endometriosis is your best strategy. 